Hello guys, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm having a wonderful day and I hope you have a wonderful day as well. So today we will be doing a video, very interesting one actually, and it will be like a series of videos. Uh, let's call it a course or a master course, how to build a decentralized application on Hedera Hashgraph. Okay. And uh, before starting, let let me do like a special thank you or a shout out to uh, the Hashgraph Association, Exponential Science, and their blockchain. Because thanks to them, these kinds of videos they are available uh, on internet right now. Okay, and we can do like a lot of educational videos that will help you through your Hedera Hashgraph journey. And of course, if you are participating in the hackathon, like these videos will help you a lot through the process. Okay, so like in these videos, we will like teach you the best practices, how you can do smart contracts, deploy them on Hedera, the best practices to deploy smart contracts, how to call them, etc, etc, etc. We will build this on this video, a popular use case, which is Airbnb. Okay, and I really love this use case. I will explain you why after that in details. But trust me, guys, this use case is very rich and it is one of the most popular uh, migrations uh, from Web 2 to Web 3 uh, on, um, yeah, uh, on the industry. So uh, we will be doing this video uh, and we will explain the architecture, everything. We will start from scratch, from building the front end to the back end, to the smart contracts, to call them, to the simulation, everything. So, yeah, guys, good for you. <laughs> and another thing, actually, if you didn't take the certificate yet, the Hedera Hashgraph certificate, it is temporarily free. So please, guys, click on the link on, on the description and grab the certificate. Like, what do you want more? Like, these certificates, they are free and they will help you a lot on your journey uh, through Hedera Hashgraph, developing on Hedera Hashgraph. And actually, it will be a very cool asset to share on LinkedIn and to flex about, okay? So, please, guys, grab this opportunity. We don't find these opportunities, like, every day. So, go take the certificate. It is very detailed and it is actually worth the trouble and worth the time so please guys before doing anything if you didn't took the certificate yet please go take the certificate okay and like let's not make the intro very long let's deep dive into this uh series of videos and let's start by explaining the prerequisites and what do you need actually to do uh the this demo with us Hello again, and let's start right now, okay? So before diving into building the this Hedera application, this very important and exciting Hedera uh, decentralized application project, let's quickly cover the prerequisites that you will need to make the most of this course. So if you have like a solid understanding of JavaScript and like basic web development concepts, like including frameworks like Next.js and uh, React, like, that's great, okay? That's great, but it is not needed, okay? Uh, if you are a beginner, this, were, uh, this course is for you. If you are an experienced developer, this course is for you as well. So it is not needed, okay? But it will be very, very helpful. Having also or being comfortable working with backend technologies like Node.js and APIs, etc., 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 like this as well be, will be very helpful. A fundamental understanding of blockchain technologies is um, helpful as well. And actually, it is extremely helpful. And if you had your certificate, your Hedera certificate, and by the way, I will remind you guys again, if you didn't, took the, didn't take the certificate, please go take it. Okay, it is free because it will be uh, like helping you a lot on this course. And um, yeah. Let's talk now what we need, actually. Actually, we only need Node.js and a computer. That's it. <laughs> That's literally it, guys. You don't need anything else. If you had these two, you could build your application uh, with us, your personal Airbnb that you could share uh, or, uh, sh yeah, share on GitHub later, okay? 
and before we jump into building this application, let's quickly summarize what you will be learning in this course and why we are leveraging both AI and blockchain. That's very important because we will be using AI. And yeah, I heard this phrase and these comments a lot like blockchain is dead. Now it's the era of artificial intelligence, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, you cannot say that, guys. Okay. <laughs> like, Blockchain and AI, they are complementary technologies, like two great friends who bring out the best in each other. Like AI help you create intuitive, intelligent and engaging user experience like for this use case. While blockchain, it provides you the security, transparency, uh, decentralized backbones, etc, etc. So they are shaping the future together and they are not actually fighting or against each other or battling against yeah it is very ironic to bring battles right now but you got the picture and we will be using ai today if you want to be a better engineer a better engineer of today is an engineer who uses ai efficiently okay and that's why we will be like targeting or selecting specific tools that will help us on our use case and we'll kick things off by building our front end of course and here's where ai becomes like very important we will use modif okay it is an ai powered ux ui design tool like to quickly generate a professional and user-friendly interface then we'll leverage cursor i don't know if you already heard about cursor but it is an ai powered coding assistant like it can help you translate uh, anything into code, especially in our use case, it will help us design our, like it will help us recreate uh, or translate our designs into code in an efficient and accurate way. Like, because we know like designs like UI UX designs, sometimes when you translate them into code, it takes time and it can be complex even for experienced developers. That's why we'll be using Modif today uh, and Cursor because they will help us to deliver these kinds of uh, things. Isn't that great? Yeah, guys, like AI is our friend, okay? And probably you are might be wondering why we did choose a platform like Airbnb as our case of study. Like Airbnb represents an excellent real world example of an industry full of opportunities for blockchain integrations. Like with blockchain integrations, we can enhance property booking platforms by adding a lot of features that uh, blockchain brings or DLT brings, uh, uh, transparency, security, efficiency, etc., etc. And actually this use case is very, very rich. For instance, like let's imagine like each property can represent it as NFTs, like creating immutable proof of ownership etc etc so we, we can use nfts we can use tokens to simplify secure payments or even we can use it for other use cases we could also of course use smart contracts to automate trust managing bookings escrow payments we can use even uh, DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations so we can empower community driven decision making um like in short a property booking system like airbnb perfectly illustrates how blockchain can transform traditional businesses and offering limitless possibilities to, uh, to innovate. And we chose this specifically, uh, this, like this specific use case, because this is an educational video. And since this use case is very rich, we could use as long as we can and as much as we can blockchains um, implementations. Okay. So that's why we chose Airbnb as our use case. and. Of course, let's start explaining the architecture, how we will build the same thing. Let's start with the basic concept of this application. So let's imagine together a property booking system where each property is represented as a unique NFT or a non-fungible token, allowing a transparent ownership and seamless transaction. That's what we will be doing, guys. We will tokenize every property into an NFT and the details of the booking and everything, like every detail important will be into the metadata and the smart contract of this NFT. So this way we will make things even more interesting by using NFTs. In, in, yeah, in order to do that, 
let's talk about the architecture. So it is designed around four key layers or five key layers that works together to provide a seamless experience. We have here the front end, the back end, the Hedera SDK integrations, the smart contracts layers, of course, and the Hedera network itself. So first, let's talk about the front end layer. So this is the part of the platform that users directly interact with. Okay, I'm talking, we are talking about clients right now. Okay, so the front end is built using the powerful, almighty Next.js framework, which I like uh, the most. Uh, yeah, it is a pre like personal preference to be honest, but like this, like this framework is really, really cool to use. And it is very developer friendly. And so that will ensure that the platform is responsive, fast, and provides a smooth experience. And actually, it has two components. Uh, we have the server side. Uh, Next.js takes care of dynamic content and API routes and all of that. And on the client side, users can interact with the platform, browse property listings. Uh, book stays and manage their wallets. I'm talking about wallets. We will use Hash Connect, okay? So Hash Connect will securely connect wallets to the platform because it will introduce us next to Hashpack, which is a Hedera compatible wallet. And personally, it's one of the most uh, friendly user experience uh, in the market right now. They have a very, very, very unique and uh, very friendly user experience and I personally uh, like it a lot and it is used to store and manage funds actually okay so user will sign transaction directly from their wallets ensuring that private keys they are never exposed to the back end and that's a very important part guys like private keys they are like your signature you are not allowed to share them okay very important now let's move on to the backend layer. So this layer will handle all the business logic. Okay, let's say part a big chunk of the business logic. Okay, uh, which ensures smooth operations for property rentals and smart contract calls. The backend is composed of several services. We have the NFT service, which is a very important one. So um, the NFT service we used it to make token association but not creation and minting for nfts and i will explain that later okay we use smart contracts for that uh we have also the payment and escrow management service and there we call our functions in the escrow smart contract okay and the account service which is uh, the service responsible for managing user accounts including profiles preferences transaction history uh etc etc finally the mirror node service which uh, the service that queries the hedera network for transaction statuses providing real-time updates to users like not real-time update but nearly real-time updates to users about their bookings and payments next let's move on to hit the hedera sdk integration layer so this uh, yeah this uh, sdk integration layer it allows us or it allows the backend service to communicate directly with the Hedera blockchains. The HTS, it is, uh, yeah, the Hedera token service uh, that handles a lot of functionalities, by the way, minting, transferring, but we didn't use them. We used the smart contract for that. Uh, but we used actually the HTS in order to associate token, okay? Uh, so this will ensure uh, that every token or every wallet that needs to be associated before getting uh, the NFT, okay? Uh, the next one will be the HCS, uh, which is the Hedera Smart Contract Service. And it is used to deploy and execute smart contracts that handle key functionalities like escrow management, for example, or booking approvals or payment releases, okay? So we will call our smart contract functions with this service, okay? Uh, and finally, the HCS service, which is the Hedera consensus service that ensures that all transactions, they are validated and timestamped securely, creating a transparent and immutable ledger of all our actions within the system. 
Next uh, is actually the smart contract layer. Okay, we have the uh, the the NFT smart contract, the uh, which is the smart contracts responsible for minting NFTs. And actually, we chose this way because we cannot use HTS uh, for our use case. Actually, HTS it is good for simple use cases, but if you want to build like more complex things, for example, NFTs updatable by other people, something like that, you need to go for a smart contract. You need to build your own smart contract. So if you want sophisticated features uh, that the HTS uh, doesn't contain, you can go for building your own smart contract, okay? But HTS, it's very like useful for simple use cases. Like for example, I want to make an NFT or create a collection or transfer one, okay? Um, but in this case, we need to build our own smart contract. Uh, and that's what we did. Uh, the next, uh, the second smart contract is the smart contract of escrow management, okay? Uh, it's very simple. So uh, like when we book, Okay, we will put the money into the escrow smart contracts and uh, they will be released when certain conditions they will meet. Okay, so uh, very simple two smart contracts, very important that runs the business logic, the majority of the business logic of the, the app. If we do a wrap up on our application, okay, or the whole architecture, we have a front end, okay, built with Next.js. We have server side and client side, okay, handling all the uh like the front end uh, part okay hash connect will uh lead us to connect with hashback which is the wallet that we will use in order to sign transactions uh, the front will be communicating with the back end that contain multiple services uh like the nft service the payment service the account service the mirror node service etc etc and these services will be using specific Hedera SDKs, like token service, for example, the NFT service uses the, the, the HTS or the Hedera token service. The payment service uses, for example, the Hedera smart contract service, since he will be calling smart contracts build, uh, deployed on the Hedera hashgraph, the NFT smart contract and the escrow smart contract. So as you can see, the architecture is not very difficult. Like it is very straightforward. Okay. If you notice, we don't have a database since we are relying on the Hedera hash we have smart contracts, okay? But yeah, it is very straightforward. Uh, if you have any question, please feel free to drop them in the comments. It's very important that you ask questions, guys, okay? Thank you so much, guys, for following this video. I hope you liked it. And this will be the first episode just explaining the architecture. The second one will be moving to code we'll yeah we'll make our hand dirty okay we will dive into code so please guys um i will ask you for something okay if you want to do this uh, quick exercise just install cursor and try to use it okay try to use modif as well try to generate a ux ui design and try to implement it okay of course try to make your own, try to make something, yeah, that you like, okay? So generate your own UX UI and try to integrate it with Cursor. It's very easy. I will show you how the next episode, but you can start with that, okay? Thank you so much for following this video and let's meet in the next one. Bye-bye.